Hey, welcome back to another book review. So I'm hoping that you're really liking these. I'm liking them because I'm really am trying to understand what I try to read, to comprehend, and I'm trying to share that with you because maybe that gives you an idea of what uh, to appreciate what we have in our life. Uh, reading uh, opens up many doors. So, uh, interesting book today. It's called Standout. And find your edge when at work. And Standout is by Mark uh, Marcus Bucking, Buckingham. Buckingham, yeah. And it's a New York Times bestseller. And it's called, uh, in the subtopics here, it's the groundbreaking new strength assessment from the leader to strength revolution we're gonna talk about that and so very not a, it's not a lengthy book I don't believe um, it's a 2011 so it's you know it has some years on it but remember I like I said there's some value still in every book um, sometimes you just have to kind of get over that hurdle a little bit you know everything that's current is good but sometimes the old ideas is just to renew ideas again so here we go the book focuses on helping individuals identify their their unique strengths and leverages them to achieve personal and professional success. Remember, success is different for everybody, right? Um, it's, it's very successful to cook dinner. It's successful to go to work and come home every day. It's very successful to become a good father, to become a good mother, a good brother, a good sibling. And, you know, very different ways of measuring success. And so it introduces an assessment tool that reveals a person's top two strengths or strengths roles out of nine categories. And those that's kind of weird. So let's do this. Let's think of an example uh, like Netflix. Netflix is very common, right? It uh, Blockbuster knew about this a long time ago. Then it went out of business because they didn't like to deal with late. They had late fees and people were getting fed up with late fees. So Netflix says, you know what? Let's eliminate that with late fees and let's make this streaming and this uh, available ability. So um, it makes it more convenient for people. And so here we go. Um, when you view a movie on Netflix or a show, there is recommendations after it, right? So when you watch the when you watch the movie, there's recommendations for it. Or before you even watch it, there's recommendations that say, hey, you know, uh, we recommend this for you based on your information, based on your viewing and your viewing data. Very interesting. So it kind of takes a little survey of you. And it kind of gets to know you. Well, that's kind of what this book is really about. It's really trying to get to know your values and your 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 talents in order to stand out, maybe of the crowd or of the working, be a little bit better person or professional, whatever you're doing. And so it's really from the the standout stand out from other people. And so the uh, the phrases to describe you know the cutting edge of things to choose the right words to describe yourself. Uh, Marcus Marcus and the, the author spent more than twenty years developing a way to kind of assess people's skills and talents. And you can look this up. It's called um, Strength Finder. Strength finder.com I think I looked it up a little bit ago it's still there um, it, I think it costs money though but um, if you have if you bought the book there's a little uh, there's a little card in there and it says that you know see inside to get your unique key so I, I think that you might have to buy the book in, in order to do that but you don't have to I'm not I'm not trying to get you to do that anyway this is just a review <laughs> so According to this, um, you, there's top-notch businesses and leaders' knowledge from the world that you acclaim and to authorize for your strengths, right? You know, we can, maybe you work in a professional field that requires you to have a certain amount of skill. And it takes skill or maybe responsibility, maturity to stay on top. And maybe you have authority. Maybe you have authority on top of you. And, you know, what are you good at? I mean, we kind of go through life and nobody really tells you, oh, are you really good at that? You know, what are you good at? 
And that's really hard. And I think people, they spend a long time in their life to figure out what they're good at. And they don't, sometimes they even still know what they're good at. I, I think I know what I'm good at, but I don't know. You always have that kind of twinkling. And I think I'm good at teaching. You know, a lot of people appreciate me teaching them. And uh, I, a lot of people have said I'm a great teacher and stuff like that. And so I guess that's what I'm good at. That's what I've fallen into. I really love it. So I don't know. So the 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 assessment, the assessment in the book, they he comes out with these uh, these kind of what they call it. He calls it um, these strength roles. These strength roles, R O L E S. And so this is kind of what people fall into. So here we go. The first one is called advisor. So when you're an advisor, you are practical and concrete. You are a thinker. You're the you know it's uh, most powerful when you're reacting to or solving other people's problems. You're an advisor. The next one is you're maybe you're a connector. A connector is somebody that you're a catalyst for change. Uh, catalyst is by the way catalyst is defined as make something happen. Your power lies in your creative to bring two people together into one. Uh, maybe you are a creator. A creator is that you make sense of the world. Um, you're pulling it apart piece by piece. You're seeing better configurations and you're making it in a better fashion, more operational pace. The next one is an equalizer. An equalizer is that you are a level-headed person whose powers come from keeping the world balanced uh, in your company, your organization. They might call you, oh, you're an equalizer. Oh, you're, you're the person that keeps things going, right? And keeping those ethics and the practicality up. Uh, the next role is, are you an influencer? It, well, that, you know, today we have a lot of influencers, and sometimes they don't last very long, and sometimes they're not that good. And you engage people directly. Okay, you kind of know what that is. I hope I don't let this, this guy uh, too much into that. Maybe you're a pioneer. A pioneer is that you see the world as a friendly place where everyone has a corner thing in their happening. So a pioneer kind of... We're going to talk about these a little bit more. So these are just kind of an overview. So don't get me, don't get too much into this. So we're going to talk about that later. Maybe you're a pri uh, a pri um, provider. A pri provider means you are you're you, you kind of have a sense of other people's feelings. Maybe you're a, st a stimulator. A stimulator is like you're trying to host people's emotions. You are emotion. You're an emotion control person. You feel people. On, on what they're trying to handle through life. Maybe you're a teacher. You know, a teacher, you are thrilled by the potential you see in others. So these roles that you kind of see, maybe you fit into one of those. And um, taking that test, you, you kind of, where do you stand out, you know, uh, in life, really? And these are just kind of the ones that he came out with. Um, if you don't fall in, under, under any of these, that's fine. That's just what I'm reviewing. So we're not going to go through uh, every one of them in depth, but let's go through some of them, okay? So the advisor, we went through that rule of advisor already. You are a problem solver. Uh, you're breaking things down into little pieces. You're trying to figure things out to make the system work as a whole. Um, you pretty much are a leader. The connector... Um, is that you think in terms of possibilities and you bring people together in order to get something done and you do not leave any stone unturned you always try to get everything in operational order and people are always going to be attracted toward you because you are filled with possibilities and you see in them sometimes what they don't see in themselves that's very interesting. Well, maybe you are a creator. A creator is that, you know, what do I understand? Um, you break things down to component elements and establish reconfigurations in the new ideas. Um, 
there's a quote that I want to give you. Someone once told me that creativity comes only to the prepared mind. So I read study and I asked the question, so mind is, is mind prepared? That was a quote in the book. And I really think it's really good because to be prepared, you have to come from a prepared mind. And so when you're a creator, you are on it. Um, you take pride in your ideas and you protect people on them. And so maybe you're an equalizer. So an equalizer, maybe you're trying to keep that balance. Um, maybe you are, you hate unfinished work and it's just eats you up. And what you're doing is that you can't stop thinking about it until it's done. Sometimes that can be an over, a bad thing too, I guess you can say. So well, I think there's a balance. Um, maybe you're an okay, influencer. We talked about this. Influencer is just, um, you know, something to kind of get people on the same boat as you. You know, kind of like persuade you a little bit. And so that's pretty easy. Maybe, okay, pioneer. Okay, pioneer says that um, you are smarter and more perceptive when you're doing something you've never done before. And you open up the possibility of um, ambiguity for people to come in. Maybe you work out a formula that captures the natural instincts of how to handle uncertainty. Very interesting one, I think. Maybe your provider. Okay, provider is pretty straightforward too. So I'm like, I have too much into this one. Um, you're very perceptive of people. You see strengths and compassion. Uh, you make everyone feel special. Um, you frame things to make more matters simpler and more worth it. Um, you listen very well. Your provider. Provider is kind of like a parent if you think about it. Maybe you're a, st a stimulator. Stimulator is, you know, how can I raise the energy in this room? You are acutely aware of energy in the room and you feel compared to do whatever you're, you can do to relieve it or evaluate it. Um, you nod, you smile, you encourage, you lead in the strength. So kind of like a stimulator is like you get the things going. You know, uh, you take that energy and you make something into it. Maybe you're a teacher. You know, this is what I fall under. Um, you don't give up on people. No, I don't. Uh, no matter how much they struggle, you believe in that they will find a way to move forward and improve. Um, you Sometimes you learn to say, I don't know. There's things that I don't know. And I'm supposed to know everything, right? Teachers are supposed to know everything? No. Um, maybe I'm always consistently learning and adapting. Oh, look what I'm trying to do for you. Look what I'm trying to do for myself. Yeah. Um, you are a learner for yourself because you love the process of getting it. And you're signing yourself up a class that you can feel that you're getting it. Okay. We sign up for, maybe you sign up for classes that you want to get something out of. Um, it's really interesting that he goes through all these, uh, these roles. And I don't know how you would develop and find these for yourself. It takes a lot of experience, I think. And it takes a lot of experience, but it also takes to get to know yourself too. And that's always hard because if you're young, maybe you don't you don't have that experience yet. And you get to get to know people too and know what you're good at. Sometimes you don't figure that out for a long time and don't let it throw you down. So you really just need to build up yourself throughout your lifetime. And everybody in your life has an expectation and demand that doesn't necessarily have in any direct connection to your strengths. Sometimes you deal with things in your life that you don't have any direction with your, your strengths. You just got to deal with them. That's just life. You got to pay the bills. That doesn't take any strength. You just got to pay the, you just got to pay the bills to keep the things on. Right. <laughs> um, but it, it's a personal strength. It's your, it's your own personal journey. To figure that out and nobody else is going to say okay here's what here's what you are here's what you are done no, i'm not that no and it's really just your current thinking that makes you more effective and it you have to respect yourself too in order to figure out what you're doing in life and you must reach out and try 
and maybe you're not you maybe you're not a uh, a problem solver okay um, but maybe you're a good listener and then maybe that's what you need to do in your life is is be in a position where you can listen to people so maybe that could be a therapist it, it just don't know you don't you have to try things um, but it also takes a lot of talent too and talents come with time you know people do have um, they're very team oriented people they have a lot of belief they maybe they're a, a very big achiever uh, maybe they're very analytical maybe they're very adaptable um, maybe they just have a lot of sense I don't know but it's just one of those things that you have to kind of go through life to figure it out and um, you know standing out is really interesting for everybody and um, I can't really tell you so I can just review it with you and I think why do I have this oh because these are all the all the term and all, all the terms in the book okay. so interesting so I'm hoping that uh, maybe this is a good read for you like I said um, I learned a lot but there's other books too that you can enjoy too so hopefully that was good for you, and keep it up, man. Find your strengths. Have a good one.